Hello, and welcome to the County Records Research How to Use This Website Tutorial Library. Today we're going to show you how to log into your account and set up your first property search. So I'm going to go ahead and select the login option at the top of my page. And here's where I'm going to enter my username and my password. Now notice that down below those two boxes we have an image and if you can't make out the image clearly you can click on the change image option to get a different one. So it looks like I can see the image that I've got so I'm going to go ahead and try and enter it in. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the option to submit. Now I've just logged into my account by entering my username and password that we just set up on the previous demonstration video and now I'm in my account. Notice that once I've logged in at the top of my screen the login option has been removed and property searches there instead. Notice also I have a my account button up on top and this allows me to access the different features within my account that we'll be discussing on the next presentations. Now if I scroll further down the page you'll notice that I have a list of all the county zones that I have selected for my service and since we started out with a five-day free trial I have access to all five states in the county records research website. If I scroll further down the page I've got access to other sections of the site and since I've logged into my account all of these are accessible including the forms page in case I want to get in there and look at some forms I might need. But the focus of this demonstration is property search, so that's what we're going to do. Now, I'm going to select the property search option. Now, this has opened up my property search screen. Now, because I do have access to all five states through my five-day free trial, notice that I have the access to California open at the moment. I can switch states to Nevada, Arizona, Washington, or Oregon. Okay? California, Nevada, Arizona, Washington, and Oregon. Now I can select from any of these one states and within a state I can select one or more zones. Now notice if I put my mouse cursor over a certain zone that I get a small window that opens that gives me a list of cities in that zone and larger zones have of course a larger list of cities. Los Angeles County is quite large and that's one reason why we've divided it into smaller sections of north, south, east, and west. So we're going to select one of the Los Angeles County zones, Los Angeles County South. Notice how it's now highlighted in blue. Now if I scroll further down the page I'm going to find a section called General Property Search. In the middle is a section called Single Property Search. We're going to discuss that section on a separate video. So once I've picked my county zone, I select General Property Search. And notice that something has already been selected for me under Choose One. The option of the type of search I'm going to do is given to me as a default. The Notice of Default Filed option has been selected for me because if I want to immediately jump in and look at properties, this is what a lot of people go after. This is also called pre-foreclosure. This is the beginning step in foreclosure and this is why a lot of people like the Notice of Default option. When I search this option on our site, I'm going to use listed dates which refer to the date that the, the property profile was added to the county records research system. So the notice of default option will automatically give me a two week date range ending in today's date assuming that I as a subscriber want to see notices of default for my county zone that I've selected from the last two weeks of incoming records. So notices of default will go by the listed date or the date we added to our website. Now, notice that there are different choices under the Choose One option besides Notices of Default. 
some of these are more important to you than others. Notice of default is important because every property has a notice of default to initiate a foreclosure. The second category is upcoming trustee sales. Now notice if I select upcoming trustee sales, then I'm going to get a difference in terms of the date range selected below. Notices of trustee sale or upcoming trustee sales as it's described in this section will go by auction date instead. Now, auction date is given to us as the option for upcoming sales because it's assumed that you want to buy properties at the auction. Now, when you're choosing which category that you want to search, you begin by selecting that category and we're going to go back to notice as a default. You then select how you want to pick the properties you want to see. Now, I can select, if I choose, a bedroom and bath count option. I can choose three bedrooms, two baths, and above. I can also then go below the date boxes and select property use of residential. If I would like to simply search three bedroom, two bath, and larger single family homes in my LA County South Zone that I selected up on top, I would then go ahead and hit the search without polygon button to get a result for my search. Now I have a search result. Now, since we chose notices of default for our search option, notice that within the map I have a number of icons representing properties and below the map I have a list of addresses. Now, the map itself allows me to see up to 60 properties at one time and to select the 60 property option below the map and on the left it says show 20, 40, 60 and I'm going to select the 60 because we have more than 20 properties on the report. Now what the system has done it's given me a full list of 60 properties out of a 66 record total and I'm able to see that group of properties all on the map. Now because there is a slightly larger number than 60, I know that if I click the forward button on my filter that I can see the next six properties. So notice now above the map it says the map reflects 60 to 120 or whatever properties are above and beyond the original 60. So these are the other six records on my report. So these are notice of default records. That's why on the map we're showing them as orange icons. Now, if I was to do a search of notice of sale records, all I would do is pick upcoming trustee sales instead. And if I was still interested in the same type of property, then I wouldn't change anything else. And I would simply hit search without polygon again. Notice the report is different in this appearance because the notice of sale records require us to see different colored icons representing the properties. You'll notice that once again we have more than 20 records. As a matter of fact we have 139. So again I'm going to select the option of showing 60 records and now you'll see that I have a much larger group of properties on the map of course and the list is shown below. And since these are notices of sale, there are different color keyed icons on the map indicating the status of these properties that are in foreclosure and on their way to the auction. So this is how we set up searches to see our properties and how we expand the range within the search results to see 60 properties per page. Now notice again that I can go ahead and I can select with the forward button on my filter. I can select the next group. So now I'm looking at 60 to 120 of a total of 139. So in this case, there's not just two pages of records. There's actually a third page. And if I click the forward button again, then this is my final section of the report or my last grouping of 120 to 180 of 139 or the final page of my three page report. 
Now, if I go ahead and close this record out, I'm right back at my property search screen, and then I can look at different ways that I can filter my report and get a different result every time. And we'll talk to you about that in our next video.